Hey everyone, welcome to our deep dive, you know, into the Brett cryptocurrency token. You might know it as based. Yeah. Um, it's making some serious waves right now. You know, it's being called the mean coin mascot of the base network. Right. And we're here to kind of break it all down for you, like navigate yeah. the hype, all the noise. Yeah. And, you know, help you figure out if this is something you should even, you know, be paying attention to. Exactly. So we've been digging into a bunch of YouTube videos and, uh, you know, we've got some pretty interesting perspectives to share on Brett's price action, the potential for growth. And of course, everyone's talking about those Coinbase listing rumors. Yeah, the Coinbase rumors are everywhere. What I think is so interesting about Brett, though, is that it's not just like some random meme coin that popped up overnight. It's really tied in with the whole base ecosystem. Yeah. Which I think adds like a whole other layer of intrigue. Like right. there's some actual potential there that you don't always see with these meme coins. Absolutely. And that connection to base, which of course is, you know, heavily linked to Coinbase, I mean, that's got people really excited. Yeah, for sure. You've got YouTubers like Roshan Silva calling Brett the OG of OGs yeah. in the whole Matt Fury meme coin universe. Yeah. And predicting some pretty explosive growth. But before we get too carried away with all the hype, I think we got to address the elephant in the room. You know what I'm talking about? Whale manipulation. Exactly. Yeah. It's a big concern. So for anyone who's maybe not familiar with that term, Whale manipulation basically refers to when large holders of a cryptocurrency, the whales, yeah. they can actually influence the price by buying or selling, you know, massive amounts of tokens. Right. It's like they can create these artificial pumps and dumps. Exactly. And this is something that Coin Bureau Trading really dives into. Their analysis actually shows that Brett's price is higher on these like lesser known offshore exchanges compared to the bigger, more reputable ones. Yeah, that's definitely a red flag. Which is a bit of a red flag for yeah. sure. And it's not just a theory. We've seen this happen before with other meme coins. Remember the whole book of meme token situation? Uh -huh. Coin Bureau Trading brought that up and how a whale basically bought a ton of it right before it got listed on Binance, pumped up the price, and then who knows how many people got caught holding the bag when that whale dumped their holdings. Yeah, it's a classic pump and dump scheme. Mm -hmm. And it just highlights how important it is to be cautious and you know do your research, Yeah, especially in the world of meme coins. Mm -hmm. Now, before we dive deeper into Brett's price history, I want to quickly mention something that I think could be really valuable for anyone listening, especially if you're interested in like online business and you know making savvy moves in that space. Have you heard of Brian Garvin? Yeah, I've seen his stuff online. Yeah. So he's got this incredible free affiliate guide. And you can find it at BrianGarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. And this guide is packed with like over 12,300 words of actionable tips and strategies. All about how to become a super affiliate. Wow, that's a lot of information. That's and it's free. Totally free. All you have to do is enter your name and email. And then click the verification link that gets sent to your inbox. You can actually find the link in his YouTube bio too. Okay, so now let's get back to Brett. Let's take a closer look at its price history and see what we can learn. Sounds good. So a few different YouTubers have been analyzing Brett's charts, Coin Bureau Trading, Zach Humphreys, The Crypto Report, and they've got some interesting observations. Zach Humphreys, he points out that Brett has bounced back to a $1 billion market cap multiple times, mm. which suggests there could be a potential breakout if it can break through the current resistance level. Now, for anyone who's maybe new to this whole crypto thing, yeah. market cap basically means the total value of all the Brett tokens in circulation. Right. So it's a really important metric for understanding a cryptocurrency's size and its potential for growth. Exactly. A higher market cap usually means more value and stability. Exactly. And those resistance levels you mentioned, those are price points where a cryptocurrency has like historically struggled to move higher. Yeah. So what Zach Humphreys is saying is that if Brett can push through that resistance, we could see a pretty significant price surge. Interesting. The Crypto Report also has some really valuable insights into Brett's price action. Yeah. They highlight some key support and resistance levels that traders can use to make informed decisions. And they even pointed out that Brett is already the seventh largest coin on the base chain by market cap. Wow. I didn't realize it was that high up already. I know. It's kind of mind-blowing, especially considering it hasn't even been listed on Coinbase yet. Right. Speaking of which... Let's talk about those Coinbase listing rumors. They're definitely fueling a lot of the excitement around Brett. But is there actually any substance to them? Well, Zach Humphreys and the Crypto Report seem to think a Coinbase listing is pretty much inevitable at this point, given Brett's position as like the leading meme coin on the base network. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Coinbase's close ties to base. 
Right. They even compare it to other base chain meme coins like DGEN, which saw massive price pumps after being listed on Coinbase. Yeah, that's a good point. But Coin Bureau trading kind of throws a little cold water on things. Ah. They suggest that the recent price pump might actually be driven more by whales who are basically anticipating a Coinbase listing. Ah, so they're trying to get ahead of it. Exactly. Rather than any like concrete news or developments, it's like they're creating the hype to cash in later uh -huh. and potentially leaving other investors holding the bag. Yeah, that's a risky game to play. It is. It's important to remember that Meme coins are inherently speculative assets. Their value is often driven by hype and sentiment rather than, you know, underlying fundamentals. Yeah. So while a Coinbase listing could be a huge catalyst for growth, it's not a guaranteed path to riches. For sure. It's definitely a gamble. It is. Yeah, yeah. it really is like, you know, trying to predict which meme is going to go viral next. <laughs> yeah. There are definitely patterns and stuff you can look at, but ultimately it's driven by like these unpredictable social dynamics. Yeah. And in the case of Brett, you know, those dynamics are heavily influenced by these whales. Who can basically make or break the market with just a few, you know, strategic moves? That's a great analogy. Right. So let's say hypothetically you're thinking about, you know, taking the plunge. Yeah. And buying some Brett, how much would you actually need to hold to become like a Brett millionaire based on the projections from these YouTubers? OK, so my financial friend and Crypto Love both lay out some different scenarios and the numbers are pretty interesting. One scenario is based on Brett reaching the same market cap as Dogecoin, okay. which would put its price at almost two dollars. Wow. Yeah to become a Brett millionaire at that price. You'd need to hold around 500,000 tokens. 500,000 tokens. Yeah. Okay, so, and right now it's trading at what, like 17 cents? Yeah, around there. So that means someone would need to invest roughly, what, like $85,000 at the current price mm -hmm. to potentially hit that million dollar mark if Brett reaches Dogecoin's market cap. Exactly. Wow, that's a lot of Brett. It is, and that's just one scenario. Crypto Love actually explores an even more extreme possibility where Brett reaches a trillion dollar market cap which would put the price at $100. $100? Yeah. Wow, I can only imagine the kind of FOMO that would generate. But okay, let's be realistic here for a second. While those astronomical gains are definitely tempting, we need to talk about the potential downsides too. Yeah. The risks that could, you know, turn that Brett dream into a nightmare. Right, yeah, absolutely. I think the biggest risk is that the current price pump is artificial and unsustainable. It's primarily being driven by those whales we talked about earlier. Yeah. If they decide to cash out, we could see a massive correction, right. wiping out a ton of value, leaving a lot of investors, you know, hurting. And the crypto report actually mentioned that Brett has already experienced like a pretty significant drop right. from its all-time high. Right. So the potential for further downward movement is definitely there. Absolutely. It's a good reminder that meme coins, mm -hmm. by their very nature, are incredibly volatile. Yeah. They're not for the faint of heart. No, they don't. And, you know, unlike established cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, which have, you know, real world use cases and strong technology behind them. Right. Meme coins are largely driven by hype, speculation. And let's be honest, the fear of missing out. That FOMO. Yeah. Powerful. It is. But it can lead to some really bad decisions. Yeah, for sure. So what are some other red flags or potential risks that people should be aware of when it comes to bread or any meme coin, really? Well, regulatory changes are a big one. Governments around the world are still trying to figure out how to regulate cryptocurrencies. Right. And any new laws or restrictions could have a big impact on the market, especially on meme coins, which, you know, often operate in a bit of a gray area. It's like the Wild West. <laughs> Brian Gullivan's free affiliate guide could be a real game changer. It's packed with over 12,300 words of wisdom on building an online business, generating passive income, and most importantly, doing it the right way. Yeah, I've heard great things about that guide. You can grab a copy at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Just enter your name and email and you're good to go. The link is also in his YouTube bio, if that's easier. Awesome. So getting back to the risks associated with Brett and the broader crypto market, I think it's also important to consider the impact of technological advancements. New blockchain platforms are emerging all the time. Right. And some of them might offer features or capabilities that make existing platforms like Base less attractive to developers and users. So you're saying even if Brett maintains its position as the top meme coin on Base, the Base network itself could become less relevant over time. 
and that could potentially drag Brett down with it. Exactly. It's a reminder that the crypto landscape is constantly evolving. What's hot today might be old news tomorrow. Yeah, that's a good point. But the crypto report did offer a little bit of hope. They suggested that even if Brett experiences a significant downturn, it could potentially recover if the overall market sentiment improves. And we see another Bitcoin bull run. Yeah, that's true. Bitcoin tends to act as a bellwether for the entire crypto market. When Bitcoin goes up, most other cryptocurrencies follow suit, and vice versa. So even if you're bullish on Brett, it's important to keep an eye on the bigger picture, you know, the overall health of the crypto market. For sure. And to circle back to one of our earlier points, it's crucial to diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in the Brett basket, no matter how tempting those quick gains might seem. Absolutely. Spread the risk. Yeah. Diversification is always key, no matter what you're investing in. And, you know, speaking of smart strategies, I got to bring up Brian Garvin and his affiliate guide one more time. If you're serious about building a solid online business, I mean, this guide is a must read. Yeah, it's amazing. He's giving all that information away for free. Right. Over 12,300 words, yeah. actionable tips, strategies, all to help you become a super affiliate. You can grab your copy at briangarvin.com. That's Brian with an I. Super simple. Just enter your name and email. You're good to go. Or if it's easier, you can find the link in his YouTube bio too. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. <laughs> so, okay, we've covered a lot of ground here today. As we wrap up our deep dive into Brett, I'm curious from your perspective what really stands out about this meme coin. Is it the meme factor, the mm -hmm. potential Coinbase listing, the whole base ecosystem connection? You know, it's funny. I think it's really the combination of all those things that makes Brett so fascinating, but also you know, kind of makes you approach it with caution. Right. Like the meme coin frenzy is obviously super powerful. Oh, yeah. But hype can be fleeting. Then you've got the potential Coinbase listing, which could bring a ton of legitimacy and fuel some serious growth. For sure. But as we talked about, it's not a guaranteed thing. Right. And then the connection to the base ecosystem, that definitely gives Brett like a foundation right. that a lot of other meme coins don't have. But base wow. is still relatively new platform. So mm -hmm. its long-term success is still kind of up in the air. Yeah, that's a good point. I think the key takeaway for me is this. Brett definitely has the potential to be more than just a you know flash in the pan. But it's not without its risks. Doing your research, understanding the market dynamics, mm. and investing responsibly. Those are all crucial, no matter how tempting those quick gains might seem. Couldn't agree more. And I think even if someone decides, you know, Brett's not for them, this deep dive has hopefully given them the knowledge and the critical thinking skills to navigate the whole crypto landscape. Absolutely. The crypto world is full of opportunities, but it's also full of pitfalls. Right. So being informed is your best defense. Well said. Well, hey, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of Brett. Yeah, thanks for having me. We hope you found it valuable and insightful. Remember, knowledge is power, especially in the fast-paced world of crypto. Happy investing, everyone. <laughs>